Hello friends, this is Akshay and welcome to you all on this channel of Career Ed. And today we are going to discuss the course challenge of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate Course 1 that is Foundations Data Data Everywhere. So we are going to talk about course challenge. We completed all the week analysis, reviews and also weekly uh, challenges. You can go if you want the answers of that and also reviews and also some PDF notes then you can go to the link in the description there is a playlist and you can access all that videos they in that I discussed all the weekly materials now this is the course challenge and this is little bit difficult if you compare the uh, compare with the weekly challenges which we uh, solved so here uh, this course challenge uh, have 10 questions and mainly it gives some scenarios and after that you need to analyze that scenario and answer question so here the question there is a question one and one more thing maybe your question may be different the, uh, the way um, means the way of questioning is different not the question is different if you only listen this uh, this full video you can all uh, directly get 100% doesn't need to do anything so here in the first scenario it is given that uh, I think this uh, this type of question is long so maybe you can see this question on the uh, in the next to me so here in the, this first question it is asking you have started a new job as a data analyst you are working for a mid-sized pharmacy chain with 38 stores in the American Southwest your supervisor shares a new data analysis a new data analysis project with you she explains that the pharmacy is considering or discontinuing a bubble bath product called uh, splash, splash tea. Your supervisor wants you to analyze sales data and determine what percentage of each store's total daily sales come from the data. Then you will present your findings to leadership. Now, after that, the question is only that uh, you uh, you just uh, read the situation and after that you need to analyze this situation with respect to the questions. So the first question is considering the size of your data set what's the best way to proceed with the process and analyze steps so in the beginning there are four options are given maybe your options are little bit different but the way i am explaining you you just listen that so spreadsheets work well for processing and analyzing a small data set such as the one you are using here so here you are not getting a very big data set there is a very small data set only you need to analyze 32 uh, 38 stores so this is a very little data set so here the answer is download the data and then use a spreadsheet to process and analyze it now we are going to the next question there is a scenario and also there is a given a uh, sheet means a data set dot csv file is there you need to download here and after that you need to analyze that data and here you can see that in the row number 16 have something is missing and it is in the question the best course of action is to delete row 16 from your data set so the missing data does not get in the way of your result if uh, there is some missing uh, data in row 16 then what you need to do with that row 16 so here deleting data from a data set can, can get in the way of accurate results in this case it would be smart to email your supervisor for guidance asking questions help you learn and avoid mistakes so here the correct option is no because here only two options are there yes or no you need to choose yes you need to choose no next thing is the question 3 so here once you have found the missing information uh, the third question is once you have found the missing information you analyze your data set you uh, you use a formula to determine how much of each stores daily sales come from the sales or is plastic during analysis you create a new column f at the top of the column you add the attribute average percentage of total sales uh, and is plastic so here select the correct definition of an attribute so I already tells you that when you uh, when you use your spreadsheet in the first row you write all the name of the columns and in the brief you write uh, the data of that column name so here that uh, the first row is called attribute so the question directly uh, asked from that and if you downloaded my notes which I shared with you you directly answer this so an attribute is a characteristic or a quality of data used to label a column so here in my uh, case uh, in the first uh, set it is asked uh, it is directly an option uh, attribute and here it is an option of a characteristic or a quality of data used to label a column so this is the correct answers and you can choose uh, any one of them if there is an attribute or if there is a label of column mentioned in the option 
So next question is the question number four, and here it is asked. Uh, it is a very simple question. It is also related to the scenario one, but this is a very simple question that it is asked only if you want the average. If you need to calculate the average of the sales data, so what? Uh, so the for, what is the formula? If you want to calculate an average of a column, then you need to just uh, put. A average in the all capitals average and in the bracket you need to just define from which column column to which column so here it is already given uh, the column uh, starting column uh, colon uh, the last col column and in the just uh, in the first you need to just write which type of uh, formula which type of predefined function you need to use the function begins with an equal sign then word average the range is of All column E represented by E colon E. So here the correct answer is average. Here the last question about the scenario one is: You have reached the sale phase of your data analysis process. It in involves creating a data visualization to highlight the plastic sales insights you have discovered. So here. Uh, when you when you reach at the position uh, of the share, you need to share your data to the stakeholders, and at that time you share that your data with different type of visualization tools. So it is a correct option. The share phase involves creating a data visualization, preparing your presentation, and communicating your findings to stakeholders. So if you got multiple choice question here, so you need to choose these three: data visualization, creating a data visualization, preparing your presentation, and communicating your findings to stakeholders. If you get True or false question uh, option here. You just choose true false. And if you get, uh, get data visualization option here, so uh, directly choose data visualization. So here, what is the scenario two? Firstly, we go through the scenario two, and after that, there are some related questions about this. We are go through that. So here, we you have. You have been working for the non-profit National Dental Society as a junior data analyst for about two months. The mission of the NDS is to help its members uh, members advance the oral health of their patients. NDS members include uh, dentists, hygienists, and dental office support staff. The NDS is passionate about patient health. Part of it involves automatically scheduling follow-up appointments. After crown replacement, emergency dental surgery, and extraction procedures, and the uh, NDS believes the follow-up is an important step to ensure patient recovery and minimize infection. So, unfortunately, many patients don't show up these appointments. So, the NDS uh, NDS wants to create campaign to help its members learn how to encourage their patients to follow up appointments seriously. It uh, successful. This will help the NDS achieve its mission of advancing the oral health of all patients. And after that, as the same uh, uh, supervisor give you a task. to analyze this data some data and after that you need to analyze uh, that data so here it is given that you need to analyze data for the zip code Eight one one three seven. So the first question here asks is the question is same for all the sets. If you get this question and here the first question is the table is the dental data table. The column name is zip code. How do you complete the following query? And there is a given query that here or uh, only mention select start from dental data table. So you need to write a uh, uh, condition so that you go, you as extract your data from uh, from a data set those who who have a zip code of eight one one three seven. So the correct syntax is where zip uh, slash code. Is equal to eight one one three seven. Where indicates uh, where to look for information. The column name is zip code, and the database is been uh, being asked to return only records matching zip code eight one one three seven. So here, this is a second sheet is given, and here it is. Uh, Asking question about that sheet. So here the given the question is the patient demographic information includes data such as age, gender, and home address. The fact that the data set includes people who all live in the same zip code might get in the way of a uh, word. So here uh, it is a it is your responsibility as a data analyst to make sure your, your analysis is fair. All the many zip uh, codes to do reflect diverse population. A better choice would be include data about people who live in multiple zip codes. So here the correct answer is fairness. And next thing is scenario number two continued. And here some more data are given. And this question is also very long. The eighth question. As you are reviewing the data set, you have noticed there are uh, disappropriate number of senior citizens. So you investigate further and find out the zip code represents rural community in Colorado with about 800 residents. In addition, there are a large assisted living facility in the area. Nearly 300 of the residents in the 81137 zip code live in the facility. You recognize that the sizable number. So you want to find out if the if age has an effect on a patient's likelihood and attend follow up dental appointment. You analyze the data and your analysis reveals that older people tend to miss follow ups more than the younger people. So you get uh, you. Uh, Analyze that data, and you find that 
the uh, older people tend to miss follow ups more than the younger people so here what is the thing uh, means the question is changing the business tasks involved which of the following so a business task is a question or a problem data analysis answers for a business so here the correct answer is defining the new question or a problem uh, or pro problem to be solved if you change the business task then a new question arises and your problem may be solved so here we are going to the next uh, question that is question number 9 and for question number 8 what is the correct answer is defining the new question or problem to be solved so next thing is scenario 2 is continued here also and here it is included uh, means in question in the question 9 the role of subject matter experts comes so here the question is the people who are familiar with the problem and help verify the results of data analysis include customer and competitors so no never uh, the customer and co competitors never verify your results subject matter experts look at the results of your data analysis to identify any inconsistency make sense of the gray areas and eventually validate the choices being made and here the option is uh, means if you got true and false then you need to choose false if it is given customers and competitors and if it is given that it is a subject matter expert so that choose subject matter experts so here that uh, this is the last question and here it is given that for the if there is a start uh, it's time to create a your presentation to stakeholders means you analyze your data and now you are in, in the process of sharing and in the sharing what is included data visualization it will include a data visualization that demonstrates the trend of uh, people being less likely to attend follow up appointments as they get older so how you can represent your data which type of data visualization tools means you use just like pie chart line chart or different type of ways to uh, to visualize any data so here for this a pie chart uh, will be the most effective way so no they are never pie chart used to represent proportions of a certain data categories compared to the whole a line chart would be the effective for tracking trends over time such as people attending fewer appointments as they get older so if if the option is given line chart and different type of visualization tools just choose line chart because line chart represent the trends which is changing and answer here is a line chart so we completed and we concluded this course and uh, if you go through this full video you got 100% easily and you got your certificate from google data analyst uh, from google data professional certificate the first certificate you get for the course one foundations data data everywhere so it doesn't miss to connect with me on linkedin and if you got your certificate tag me also or just connect me with uh, me on the linkedin there is a link in the description and uh, just share with me also that certificate and i also going to share this certificate because i also get this certificate and the very precious for me also so that's much in this video please share this video like this video subscribe my channel and that's much in this video thanks for watching